Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. In all my machine learning tutorials before, I only worked on supervised learning models where we had training features and one target variable. We used the target variable as the guide to train the training features to predict the target for the unseen data. So our input data or training features had a goal to predict the target and we used the target variable itself to train the training features. So if we have only the training features and no target from the training features, we can actually predict the target variable. The sole purpose of the model has always been the prediction. Today we will talk about unsupervised learning where there is no target variable. So in unsupervised learning model, the training features do not have any target or do not have any goal to predict or forecast something. So unsupervised models are not for prediction. So it is for better understanding of the data or to find structure in the data. In this video, we will talk about unsupervised model on a high level. In my later videos, I will start working on different models. So there are three types of unsupervised learning. The first one or the most common one is clustering. Clustering tries to group the data based on the similarities or dissimilarities. Now you can see in this picture, here we have the data points. With the unsupervised models, you just group this same data in different portion based on the properties. Here you can see this part became the green, this round shape one, this becomes the blue, and these ones become the red group. The number of clusters can vary based on the data set or based on actually you, how you want to group the data. If we talk about a real world example, grouping people based on their food habit or based on their blood group can be a very good example of clustering. Dimensionality reduction is another type of unsupervised learning. So you can see here what it does. We have three dimension first, then you can reduce it to two dimension or even one. So why do we need dimensionality reduction? Think of a supervised learning model where we have too many features and one target variable. Now, sometimes too many features can make it hard to predict. So because when you have too many features, it can be hard to establish a relationship between that too many features and one, that one target variable. Take an example, the credit card fraud detection model. If you have too many features, model may not be able to relate to the right features to detect the fraudulent activities. So in those cases, if you compress the features in smaller dimension, it will be easier to establish the relationship between features and the target variable. And so the prediction will be more accurate. Another example can be image data. Nowadays, we have very high resolution cameras, right? To really capture tiny details. Now, to capture those tiny details, uh, it uses too many pixels. So, when you have to store those images, it takes too much space. And again, if you have to do any kind of computation or any, of, any kind of models using those images, it takes too much computational power or too much time. So, using dimensionality reduction, you can compress those images. So you can store it in smaller space and when you have to build any model or any kind of computation it will take much less time and lower amount of computational power so if you can see that the unsupervised learning model can be used to prepare the data for supervised learning as well the last type we will talk about is association rule the association rule mining is the very fundamental and popular in data mining and machine learning both Look at this picture. I'm sure if you have shopped online, you have seen this kind of recommendation, right? 93% people who purchased this item also purchased that item. So this is actually association rule. The idea is to find interesting correlation in large data sets. The association rule can tell us the combination of things that happens together often. So if you buy this, you can buy this. If you watch this movie, you may like that movie too, right? This, this is association rule. And it can tell how frequently the combination happens. Like this example, 93% people who purchased this 
purchase that too. So it tells you how often or how frequently this combination works. And also the strength of association can also be calculated. If item A occurs once, item B occurs 10 times. That's a kind of strength. All right. So today we talked about unsupervised learning and different types of unsupervised learning. In my next video, we will start working on different unsupervised learning models using, using the dataset and code, of course. So see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.